Welcome to Paradis Diaries in early winter. In November 2017, we moved to the beautiful Ynys Morn, the island of Anglesey in northwest Wales, to begin the adventure of developing a 12 acre small holding and planting a church, all while learning to be parents for the first time. Moving to a tiny rural village called Paradis, which is Welsh for paradise, our pioneering journey has seen us venture way out of our comfort zone, trying new things, succeeding at some and facing challenges in others. This is our way to share our journey, encourage you with yours, and of course, share plenty of inspiring scenery and cute shots of animals and our young family. We are the Radbourne family, and this is Paradris Diaries. So autumn colours have faded into wintry tones, but rather than hibernate for winter, when you are on a small holding, you begin to focus on spring and summer that is to come. And you begin to plan and think about what can we do? How can we prepare so that next spring we um, have an abundance of life here again? And that is what we've been doing here at Karagdor, um, trying to work out, okay, what can we do? What can we shift this year to um, see a change next spring and summer that we learned from last year? So first of all, we are uh, planting some daffodil bulbs, but we've got quite a genius, well I say we, John has come up with quite a genius plan of how to plant daffodil bulbs nice and quickly. So daffodil bulb planting, we thought that around the fruit and veg patch here it would be lovely if in spring um, all of the uh, embankments are covered in daffodils. John has come up with this ingenious way to plant them. So a drill with look a sort of corkscrew um, drill bit on the end, which means that we are able to plant a few hundred daffodil bulbs around this border in a matter of a few hours. Really simple, drill, nice hole, pop it in, cover it over, done. Next. Look at this, absolutely genius. It's gonna look great in the spring. Hey sheep. Another thing we're getting ready for is to keep the sheep or other animals, donkey, still working on it, down here um, on this section around the veg patch um, as well. And as you can see, the fencing is coming on nicely. So we've managed to knock in most of the posts now. And then we'll be able to have this whole area um, for grazing as well and the veg patch secure and so we've got loads of new gates all around the place which look great as well because in the past I um, replaced one of the gates with an old bed uh, bed frame end it worked great I've got to say it worked well but that has now fallen to pieces because believe it or not bed frames are not made to be hung as gates But in doing the fencing, absolute travesty hit when our fence post basher broke off. The handle just came off. Now I like to claim that it's just because I'm super strong and um, have done that, but it could also be that it's just got a bit rusty and has come off, um, which is a shame. Fortunately, we've got a new fence post basher and oh, I'll tell you, it's a beauty. It's an absolute beauty, thicker handle so you can really get a good grip on it. Absolute dream. And then one of the other jobs coming up that this will probably be over the Christmas break will be to begin to prune these trees. So the fruit trees down here aren't really growing in the best way at the moment so we need to prune them. Um, this is something that we need to learn and work out what's best. Fortunately, uh, there's a guy in our village who used to work in an orchard. Um, so he's gonna hopefully come up and show us over the Christmas time. And then the other thing that we've been up to is trimming and strimming around the place to try and just cut back all of the brash and get it ready for next year as the new growth then will fill it back up. Um, so this is the time of year to get on top of those brambles and um, areas of growth that got a bit out of control in the summer. Um, so like this walkway, uh, that is a beautiful little pathway down from the top field, from the woodland into um, 
the little orchard at the back of our house. It's um, got very overgrown and it's a shame because it's got a beautiful viewing spot. So uh, that's been cleared this, um, this late autumn, early winter and now it's a great space for us to walk down and enjoy. So there we go, although the days are short, which means that our time and ability to be able to get things done um, is limited at the moment. There's still loads of jobs to get done. But that's kind of the stuff we've been up to recently. So next week we will um, show you a little bit about Christmas arriving here. It's very exciting. Caleb is very, very excited about Christmas this year. So thank you for watching today and I will see you next time on Paradwis Diaries should really quickly say please do hang around for the final scene at the end of the credits this week is an absolute oh smashing the boys having a great time together one of the best videos of this year Is that funny? Is that funny? Go on, blow it at him.